Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today we will see how and when you can use GML Visual Drag and Drop block, which is called IF Expression. Um, that block is um, very, very near to the previous one which we have explained, and that is IF Variable. So, the first one on the right says IF Expression so as this um, text below it says uh, if expression checks if an expression is true or false so um, what kind of expressions we can make in game maker and uh, why should we use them uh, the easiest way is uh, to remember is to make um, parallel with um, expressions in uh, mathematics so as you can see when you type uh, math expressions on uh, Google uh, what is an expression in ma math an expression in math is a sentence with a minimum of two numbers or variables so you can see uh, mathematics also use variables and all of those X and Y in math are same as these variables which we have used here like zombie health, zombie mana, enemy type and so on uh, the only difference is that they call them X, Y, Z and so on so uh, we can also call them uh, sometimes in some game engines like that sometimes not because um, some of those uh, letters are already used by game maker built-in variables we talked about it earlier but anyway uh, so expression in math is a sentence which needs to ha uh, have a minimum of two numbers or variables and at least one math operation so um, we need two subjects uh, x and y and some kind of operation between them that uh, operation can be addition plus subtract subtraction minus multiplication x uh, division and so on so um, think about expression in game maker like these expression in uh, these expressions in uh, mathematics so you can add or uh, subtract or uh, multiply or divide or compare something else and so on so um, why would I need that or you in your game and uh, when uh, again uh, you will uh, maybe use it maybe you want it's all about um, do you need it or don't uh, or not in your game uh, and uh, for example in previous videos we have uh, experimented a little bit with this if variable conditions and uh, some kind of uh, different uh, stuff to, to have in our game if that condition is true or not uh, so for example if I click and drag this if expression I can see it has only one field which says variable expression variable and uh, first of all I will disable this if variable and oops and set speed and set point direction just to work easier here okay so uh, this is the field where you type your expression and as you can see here it can be variable or as we saw here on google it can be some kind of um, a simple simple expression like 4 plus 3 is uh, 7 or compare uh, is it uh, 5 equal to 4 or something like that it doesn't have to make much sense or uh, sounds complex or um, something like that uh, as long as it works for your game I will disable this just for a second to test my game so far if I start my game, my zombie now uh, should just go, I think, left and right without chasing the player. 
yeah so uh, okay that's all cool but um, for example i can show you now how this if expression works and sometimes uh, again for your games it can be you can add more than one expression here by clicking on this plus sign or delete it by clicking on this minus sign uh, but again uh, think about this field as a field in your math uh, notebook where you can um, um, write down whatever you want like um, for example if I say is 5 greater than 4 what uh, will this expression uh, result in 5 is greater than 4 that is true and if it's true do what I can say ok if that is true then you can chase this player character on the screen again uh, this simple example doesn't make much sense for you now uh, because you will probably say okay that is too dumb and nobody would use anything like that in real world or a game okay no problem but the whole idea here is that you should just remember here that you have some kind of expression simple or complex it, it doesn't matter but depending on that expression if it's true or not then this will execute so if 5 is greater than 4 then this expression is true and then and only then set point direction and set speed which means chase the player so 5 is greater than 4 and this will result in zombie chasing the player right away S simple as that and for example if I say is 4 greater than 5 so this is false now my zombie player zombie sorry enemy should not chase the player so the whole idea here is to think about it as true or false yes or no if it's true then execute the code if it's false it doesn't matter skip the code don't read the code don't execute the code that's how computers work and that's how you should change your mindset too to think of, uh, in those terms and as you uh, make more and more games and progress more uh, it will be easier to you for you to uh, think in those terms and uh, uh, yeah just evolve uh, think faster code faster and it will make much more sense uh, you don't have to use uh, numbers and expressions like this only you can use what we said variables so if I want to use my zombie health variable all I have to do is copy it or type it by hand here so if I says is my zombie health greater than for example 30 then chase the player and if I check my create event it says their zombie health is 50 so if my zombie health is greater than 30 50 is greater than 30 so my zombie will start chasing the player right away but again this looks simple here but if I for example make my player able to hurt this enemy and take away some health from him so zombie health uh, will be reduced for example if player hits him with um, I don't know sword uh, by minus 10 if he shoots him with the gun minus 20 then this expression will change because I check it in my step event every frame per second and this will then become interactive so um, again that uh, needs more time I won't 
be boring you with that but all I wanted to show here is that you can use variables in expression simple numbers uh, whatever you think about and uh, that way you can uh, make more complex um, code more complex games and again uh, don't uh, get much confused just experiment until you get those um, terms in your uh, head uh, more uh, clear and uh, the easiest way to do is by experimenting and making games because again um, you will need uh, you will sorry you will use all of those only if you need them uh, you can see that it's very similar uh, if I use this expression if zombie health is or if I use if variable zombie health is it's it, it does the same thing so I can so I can for example enable this one and you see if variable zombie health is greater or equal than 30 this is same as if you have the code with if expression zombie health is greater than 30 so uh, as long as you have this zombie health variable defined which we did here in create event but this if expression does the same work in my game as this if variable so uh, uh, why do you have both why do you um, uh, why you can use both it's your choice it's uh, just the choice given by game maker studio and uh, mm, don't get connected to examples which i make because you can go endlessly with the these and wild and um, crazy and only uh, limit is your imagination and comple complexity of your game because uh, here I can check if variable zombie health for example is greater or equal and uh, here in expression I can add uh, different variables like uh, some other zombie health plus uh, bad health and so on so if you have those in your game uh, we haven't defined them here in my game yet uh, so it's um, all about what you need and when you need and how complex uh, you need it sometimes some of those uh, drag and draw blocks have some kind of limitation i have um, shown that in some examples but uh, there are almost endless combinations so I, d I cannot cover them all uh, or at least in one video uh, but um, for now just think about it as uh, one more tool for you to use in your games and again i will probably use it later in my games for um, some more complex or um, more real world situations but so far um, i think we should stop uh, here with this this one uh, thanks for watching and see you See you next one.